Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, it's where I go and talk about new stuff that come out this week. I don't have it in hand, just to like to chit chat. So let's take a you know seat back and relax, and uh, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And we got something new from Matrix Workshop. This upgrade for weapons for Legacy Alita One. So it looks like you get two little pistols and one you know rifle. Looks like. So pretty cool. Yeah, this is M-81, and yeah, nothing to it, but there is some new weapons for Alita 1 from a Leg uh, from Legacy. So awesome, it's awesome. And also from Matrix Workshop, we got upgrade weapons for Legacy Wild Rider and Knockout. So the Wild Rider looks like it's the two double cannons that go on, you know, the card mode that the G1 had, and it looks like you can split them apart and, you know, use them as separate, uh, you know, weapons. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like Knockout gets a lot of stuff. Gets a new spear, looks like a saw blade or something like that, and some different, uh, you know, a, a nose cone or something like that. So yeah, pretty cool, and a screwdriver. <laughs> Yeah, so weird stuff for there. So there you go. New from Matrix Workshop, we got upgrade weapons from Legacy Wild Rider and Knockout. This is uh, M 75B and M 80. Awesome. Man, it looks pretty cool. I may get that uh, stuff for the uh, Wild Rider. And it looks like we got some new stuff from DNA Designs. This is DK 35, and this is for Studio Series 55, or I'm sorry, 54. This is the uh, Megatron. And it looks like you get a new chest. Um, don't, I'm not really a big difference in there, but you know, you get a new chest, and it looks like you get his uh, long rifle that he used uh, to, sh you know, fire at Optimus Prime in the first uh, Bayverse uh, Transformer movie. So yeah, this is DK35, and it looks like, like I said, you get a new chest and a new uh, arm cannon for uh, Megatron. So pretty cool, I guess. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for add-on kits. Let's move on to Legends news. And, man, we got some new stuff from one of my favorite companies we never get anything from. <laughs> well, it's Jizza Toys Minibots. It looks like we're getting some super deformed kind of, they call them Jizza Toys Chicken Wing Design or SD Version Ruined. I don't know, but like the super deformed kind of got the big old head things. So it looks like they're showing Huffer. It looks like they got Beachcomber, Warpath, Cosmos, and Sea Spray. So it'd be pretty cool if they actually, you know, made this stuff. And, you know, I know, I think they sell the 3D printed stuff and, you know, or they sell, you know, they sell, they sell the files and uh, they're trying to get people to make them. So I don't know for sure if anybody's going to make this, but it looks pretty cool. You know, a little, you know, big headed, you know, mini bots. So there you go. From Jizza Toys, there's some uh, super deformed mini bots. All right. Good stuff. And up next is Mechanic Toys, and we're getting a Legend Sunstreaker. It's called Legend Sunstorm. That is awesome. I don't think anybody has made one yet. Uh, I do like Mechanic Toys. They are part of the Mech Fans Toys uh, stuff, which, you know, knock off uh, some of the Magic Square and everything. But uh, Mechanic Toys has usually their own, you know, designs and everything, their own molds and everything. So uh, this one, you know, like I said, nobody's made a Sunstreaker yet anyway, so this is a new mold. And it looks pretty good. This is uh, looks like a CAD drawing so far. So really, really excited. We're finally getting a Legend Scale uh, Sunstreaker. And I can't wait for it. So there you go. Mechanic Toys Legends Sunstorm is coming our way. Man, I can't wait. And also from Mechanic Toys, we're getting five new recolors and maybe some retools of their Amy, which is their RC, which should be coming out pretty soon. I'm excited for her. Now we got Night Ninja, which is Nightbird. I really like her. That looks really good. I love the weapons and uh, just I love the purple and the kind of the gray, you know, mixed together. That looks really good. Now Mirror Ninja, I think, I don't know for sure, which is, well, this might be the prototype one that MMC did they, a while back and it had the Ronald McDonald kind of colors. That might be this one. I don't know for sure for yet, but it could be a shattered glass one if you want to as well. Uh, but yeah, Mirror Ninja is coming as well. And then we have Snow Ninja, which I really love the colors. I love the white and the metallic blue on her. It looks 
really good. Definitely going to get that one. Then we got Devil Amy, which is the uh, Combiner Hunter one. They had a three-pack back in the day, and uh, she's got that big old sword, and uh, she looks really good too as well. So I'm definitely going to get the Snow Ninja, Devil Amy, and uh, the Nightbird one as well. Then we have Nursery, and I think this one is the Medic one. Uh, I'm not for sure, but I think it's the Medic one that uh, they usually recolor her as well. So uh, yeah, we're getting five different new ones, uh, five different uh, you know recolors and retools of uh, the Amy or the RC and uh, Mechanic Toys and Dr. Wu have been working together and uh, yeah I'm really excited to get this so there you go man can't wait to get some of them and then up next from New Age I know this is hard to believe but we're getting recolors of Grimlock I know it's hard to believe New Age is giving us recolors wow so first up is going to be G2 uh, Grimlock and man this looks freaking awesome. I love the blue, the nice, you know, the chrome on the chest looks really good. Man, the stickers look very nice. These little uh, temple stickers look really good. So yeah, definitely in for G2 Grimlock. This looks really nice. I like it. And then we got the comic book version, which is really looks good too as well. But I haven't got any of the comic book versions yet. They did Optimus Prime and Megatron. Uh, and I think they got Shockwave coming as well. And now they got Grimlock too as well. He is really, really shiny. Really great paint job. But I just don't know if I'm in on the comic stuff. But here you go. This is uh, Grimlock also in comic style. And then up next is New Age. This is Clover. This is the IDW version, but I guess you could use them as a shattered glass one. Kind of looks like the one from the uh, 2008 Botcon set. This looks good. I'm definitely in for the shattered glass one. I love shattered glass. I hope they do a whole bunch of them. And uh, I like this one. I love the colors. The purple and the black look really good. And the turquoise blue. So very nice. So this is the IDW version, or I guess you can use them as the shattered glass version. And the last one I showed us is the transparent one, which is the clear version. And you know, if you follow my channel, you know how much I love some clear transformers. Definitely, definitely getting this one. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't show a gold version, which, you know, give them time, they probably will. But Oh, I love this. This looks so good. I love that smoky gray, the yellow, the red. Mmm, looks so good. So lickable. So there you go. We got the uh, Jolly Rancher uh, Grimlock also coming, and it looks freaking awesome. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends news. Let's move on to MP third-party news, and it looks like we got some early renders of Mastermind Creations, or MMC. This is R-51 Prodador Nimbus. I think this is their double dealer. Uh, he is IDW inspired, you know, more stylized and everything. Uh, looks pretty good. You know, you got the, you know, the bot mode, the uh, bird mode, and the car mode, I guess what it, you can call it. So, looks pretty good. But this is, uh, you know, early renders, and uh, this is MMC, and this is their double dealer. Looks pretty good so far. And there's some freaking awesome news, man. It looks like BotCon is going to be in partnership with ArchCore. Man, if you don't know by now, they are really freaking awesome. So yeah, we're going to get some new convention exclusive. Uh, I think you can pre-order the new stuff. It looks like it's going to be Crystal Wolf and a Crystal Armor Stillier, uh, Storia something like that it's the wolf it's going to be a recolor of the wolf i already have the two of the uh, ones out right now so we're actually going to get an exclusive from them but we can pre-order at botcon i'm going to be at botcon the next month and i can't wait so really cool i'm glad that they're getting you know partnerships with uh, archcore and also five two toys uh two of my favorite you know companies so yeah we're going to get some new stuff from them so that is awesome I'm really excited for haney and all that stuff there you know he's the one running botcon and uh yeah so they got a new uh, partnership with the uh archcore and I'm really excited. I can't wait to see some new stuff from them. So I hope I think they're gonna have a display out for some new stuff. So that's gonna be awesome. So there you go. Botcon is teaming up with Archcore, and man, that is freaking awesome. And it looks like we got some new picks from Fans Hobby. We got the Energon Optimus Prime, and it looks like he's uh you know with there with the uh, Armada one. And man, this needs to hurt get in my collection. It looks done. I'm telling you right now, it looks finished. It needs to come out. <laughs> But yeah, it looks really good. Uh, I had the Armada one. I'm really excited for this one. So yeah, we got some new stuff. This is Tim MB-33. And uh, yeah, this is Energon Optimus Prime. And like I said, can't wait to get in my collection. Looks good. And it looks like we got some new box images of uh, Play the Movies. This is their uh, acoustic wave. This is their sound wave from the um, uh, Dark of the Moon. And yeah, it comes with a laser beak and Ravage. Um, I already have the uh, New Age one, so I'm probably going to skip on this one. I think this is MP Scale as well. So there you go. This is uh, Play the Movies. Like, is that the name of the company? I don't know, but it's MH-02, and this is their acoustic wave. 
Soundwave. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official news. And it looks like Flames Toys is excited to announce that the Cura Car Curie Nemesis Prime will be the first launch as a worldwide limited edition at the ACG uh, HK, uh, I'm sorry, HK 2022. So it looks like the uh, Hong Kong uh, convention over there, they have them every year, uh, which I'd love to go to. It'd be pretty cool. It looks like they're getting a, uh, like I said, the Flames Toys Nemesis Prime as uh, one of their, uh, you know, uh, you know, exclusives. Uh, couldn't get that out. My God. So it'll be limited to 1,800 pieces, and it looks like 300 pieces will be at the uh, ACG HK. And it looks like Beijing is getting 300, Japan is getting 200, US is getting 300, and D4Toys.com is getting 700. So uh, if you like the flame, you know, flames toy model kits and like to build them and everything, this looks pretty cool too. I like the Nemesis Prime. Uh, but if you like that kind of thing, definitely want to get one of these. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Flames Toys is giving us Nemesis Prime, and uh, he's going to be exclusive over in uh, Hong Kong. So it looks like we got a new listing found in Amazon, France, and the UK. This is for Studio Series Deluxe The Last Night Crosshairs. Uh, so we have no images yet of the new entry in the Studio, studio Series line, but we hope to see a new listing uh, you know, pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, it hasn't been active yet. Uh, they said the pre-orders will be uh, coming up pretty soon, and it has a release date of October 31st, which is this year. So that's pretty soon. And um, as you know, as an extra bonus, they're going to have the uh, Studio Series Core Class Ratchet uh, up for pre-order as well. So yeah, pretty cool. So we're getting uh, hopefully a new Studio Series Deluxe, the Last Night Crosshairs, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. And it looks like we found a new listing found also on Amazon French for the Studio Series Leader Class of Fallen. So we had known the product number for this figure for a while, but this is our first official and active pre-order uh, for the new Studio Series Leader Class of Fallen uh, from the second Transformer live action film. The Fallen, uh, you know, is going to be released on October 31st, 2022, which is really soon. I'm surprised we haven't seen any, you know, official images yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get this thing, you know, so, you know, I'm excited for that. So there you go. Studio Series Leader Class, The Fallen has uh, been listed and hopefully we'll get to see what it looks like soon. And it looks like Design Costumes Funko Optimus Prime Mask. So Design Costumes has shared a, a, a new oversized mask for your future tomfoolery. The piece has Optimus Prime in his Funko Pop vinyl aesthetic, uh, but large enough to pop over your head and be able to peek through uh, out through the eyes as well. It's due to be a Walmart exclusive, so expect to be showing up during Walmart Collector Con later this week. So yeah, if you want a, a big old Funko Pop Optimus Prime mask, here you go. It's going to be at Walmart. Man, that looks really goofy. And it looks like Hasbro has announced PulseCon 2022, which will be taking place September 30th and on October 1st. So an image has surfaced at the Hasbro SDCC 2022 setup, which I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, and it looks like it said uh, PulseCon is going to return once again this year. Uh, for the last few years, PulseCon has brought us a good chunk of Transformer reveals, and there's no shortage of things that could be shown off this time between Legacy, Studio Series, Rise of the Beast, and Earth Spark. So I uh, re you know, recommend taking this as a rumor for now until it officially, uh, officially uh, you know, has confirmed. But more likely, it's going to happen. You know, they already showed a picture and everything. So pretty cool. So yeah, PulseCon is going to happen on September 30th and October 1st. And it looks like we got a possible first look at Velocitron Crasher. Ooh wee. So yeah, this is a GoBot. Revealed to be a redeco of the War for Cybertron Mirage mold, this image gallery, gallery shows off the figure in her robot and race car modes. Uh, we hope to get official reveal soon, but for now you can check out the you know the pictures that we got now. So yeah, I mean a lot of people are kind of upset they wanted to use the uh, drag strip uh, for her, but you know they're going to use a mirage. The head sculpt kind of looks a little weird. I mean it just looks like a straight you know pink version of the mirage. Uh, doesn't really look like Crasher, but eh, we'll see. But yeah, if you like that kind of thing, pretty cool. So there you go, first look at Velocitron Crasher. Man, I hope they do some other GoBots. That'd be pretty cool. So it looks like we, some, we got some new official stock images and product descriptions of Transformers, Vintage Beast Wars, Retrax, and Pterosaur. So uh, Retrax was rumored a few days back and now we finally have more reliable confirmation for the release. Uh, we have images of the packaging of both toys. Uh, they are likely to go live for pre-order tomorrow during the Walmart Collector Con. Uh, that's weird to put out retracts. Hmm, I don't know. They're doing some weird uh, reissues. But anyways, uh, Vintage Beast Wars is still around, and we're getting retracts and Pterosaur. That's awesome. 
And it looks like we're getting a Funko Pop G1 Optimus Prime Christmas ornament. Yay! This, is, this seems to be a smaller version of the Funko Pop G1 Optimus Prime, which you can now hang on your Christmas tree. According to the information shared in the Instagram post, it will be available for pre-order tomorrow during the Walmart Collector Con, and they will also be on display at Hallmark's booth in San Diego Comic Con. So pretty cool. That is awesome. So actually, update, the Optimus found, was found also in Walmart in California, so it looks like they're already in the stores. So yeah, if you want a little Christmas ornament, a Funko Pop G1 Optimus Prime, here you go. And speaking of Walmart Collector Con, it looks like they had a day one roundup and they just showed, you know, everything that, you know, we've already seen, you know, the Velocitron stuff, Blur, Burnout. Uh, they actually uh, went on pre-order too as well on uh, Walmart.com. I was able to get everything except for Cosmos. Cosmos sold out pretty quick. He was, they were actually on Pulse too as well. Uh, but yeah, they were sold out in both areas. So hopefully I'll get a chance to get Cosmos, but it looks like he's gonna be one of the harder ones to find. But I was able to get everything else. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we had some new stuff from uh, CollectorCon. Yeah, pretty cool. And it looks like a Transformers Legacy Red Cog was found in U.S. retail. So re, uh, Red Cog is a redeco of the Siege Weaponizer Cog mold, but this time packaged with five blasters and it looks like seven interchangeable barrels and components. Uh, it looks like those are found in Target in Pennsylvania and Oregon. So if you're out there hunting, you can try to find Legacy Red Cog. All right, U.S. retail. And it also looks like Legacy Metroplex, Masterpiece MPM-13 Blackout, and the new Cyberverse Deluxe 3-Pack was also found in U.S. retail. So at the same target in uh, New Jersey, or you know one of the New Jersey targets, Legacy Titan Class Metroplex and Masterpiece Movie Blackout were found on shelves. And also to top it off, the Transformer Cyberverse 3-Pack was also spotted with uh, Cyberverse Deluxe Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, and Cheetor. Man, that is awesome. I have the uh, Metroplex on pre-order uh, with Amazon, so more likely they may start dropping really soon. Uh, I don't think he was supposed to come out until November, but pretty cool. So there you go. Legacy Metroplex and Blackout and the Cyberverse Deluxe 3-Pack found at U.S. Retail. And also found at that Target in New Jersey was the uh, Transformer Legacy Commander Class Motormaster. Ooh-wee. Yeah, so I have him pre-ordered too as well through Amazon, so hopefully he might be coming through. But uh, it'd be pretty cool if I could find him in, uh, you know, in retail, but I doubt it. Uh, it's going to be a while. So, but there you go, man. Legacy Commander Class Motormaster is out in retail. Man, good hunting, man. Good hunting. All right, if you don't know by now, this weekend is San Diego Comic Con, and yeah, man, we got a bunch of new reveals. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to show some of the stuff that, you know, they've already shown off, and it looks like uh, we got some new stuff from 3-0, which is the Deluxe Last Night Optimus Prime, and we also got Prime 1 Studios Transmetal 2 Megatron statue. My God, that Megatron statue looks so freaking awesome. The sculpt work and the detail of this thing looks just, oh, and it looks really expensive too. You know, Prime 1 Studios is, you know, cream of the crop. One of the best, you know, statue uh, companies around and it looks so good. And also the 3-0 Deluxe uh, Last Night Optimus Prime. I can't wait for this guy. I love 3-0. Had this guy on pre-order. Man, he looks really freaking awesome as well. So yeah, these two uh, look really nice. So there you go. So these are on at the uh, San Diego Comic Con right now. And man, if you get a chance to see this uh, Megatron statue, wow, that is very beautiful. And then they also had a panel, and I'm, you know, I'm going to go over some of the stuff they show, which is really cool. Uh, but they had some, you know, Q and A with some of the uh, designers. It looks like, and uh, they had some, you know, you know, what collabs you want. You know, some were saying GI Joe, somebody said Pokemon, and you know, some Nickelodeon stuff. And it looks like we're going to get some more IDW and Nautica was asked for. And it looks like we're going to get some uh, maybe Brawn and Gears will happen eventually. So uh, potential of a re-release of the Coneheads and Legacy. So that would be pretty cool. A lot of people have missed out on the Coneheads. And uh, there may be a Armada Optimus Prime for the 20th anniversary coming. Who knows? Uh, final reveal is Pulse exclusive Orion Pax and Alpha Trion uh, with the Vector Sigma set, which I'll show you that in a little second. But yeah, man, that'd be pretty cool, man. I'm definitely excited for the mini bots and uh, maybe Armada Prime, you know, coming for the 20th anniversary. That'd be pretty cool as well. But yeah, very nice, man. That's really cool. So uh, yeah, we also had some uh, reveals too. And we'll talk about that right now. So yeah, it looks like we're getting new in-stock images of some of the reveals they got. So up first is going to be Skull Grin, and man, he looks badass. And we actually get a, a, a little teaser of the uh, back of the box, and it looks like we get a, a, his Cybertronian tank mode. Uh, so that's going to be his alt mode, and that looks pretty cool as well. I like it. So yeah, Skull Grin looks pretty cool. I can't wait to get him. So uh, it looks like he's merged Pretender Shell with the robot mode. 
Uh, looks like uh, Mark worked with uh, Yuki San with him, so that's pretty cool. So next we got Blanker, which is Point Blank, which I don't know why, I guess they lost the name. Uh, but Blanker will have a Minicon accessory. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like he don't have a waist, but hey, it looks fine. I'm glad we're getting some Target Master. That's awesome. Uh, then up next is going to be Crankcase, who is a partial use of the Skids mold. Uh, then we also got, uh, which looks pretty cool, I'm glad we're getting a Crankcase. Uh, then we got the last deluxe is going to be Dead End. So, yeah, you know, we're definitely getting you know, all the Stunticons. Uh, so, really excited for that. Dead End looks really cool. So, it uh, looks like you, uh, the team worked for a hard uh, cartoon look. And then we also got the first Voyager, which I'm really excited for, Armada Starscream. Oh, my goodness. This looks so good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited for that. And then we got Beast Wars Inferno. Really excited for that, too, as well. Color match the CG model. Man, that Inferno looks really nice. I'm glad we're getting Inferno. And then we have Leader Class Transmetal 2 Megatron. And my goodness, once again, a freaking awesome. Another great release. Looks really good. Looks like the packaging was also revealed. So, man, yeah, I love this. I want all of them definitely get in my collection so there you go we got some new stuff coming from legacy and they also showed the legacy a hero is born alpha trion and orion packs two pack all right so this pack consists of retools and redecos of studio series voyager scourge or the sweep and deluxe cup now as alpha trion and uh and around packs is a great homage to the origins of the autobot leader the two pack is set to be released november 1st and will be available for pre-orders on hasbro pulse for 66 dollars and 99 cents this looks really cool. I don't, but I don't know why they gave him Cup, you know, the, you know, Energon Goody thing. That makes no sense. But you do get the Vector uh, key and everything, the Vector Sigma key, and then you'll get the ball and everything. So it looks pretty cool. I'm really, really excited for this two, uh, two pack. So there you go. Uh, Transformers Legacy of Heroes Born, Alpha Trion, and Orion Packs. And they also showed us the Legacy Generation Selects DK-3 Breaker. This is the uh, die clone of Trailbreaker. Uh, so pre-orders have started to go live already and it uh, looks pretty cool. I'm definitely in for this one as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad they're showing some die clone love. Uh, they've done, you know, Hoist and some other ones too. So pretty cool. So uh, yeah, we got the new uh, look at the uh, Legacy Generation Selects DK-3 Breaker, which is the die clone Trailbreaker. And it looks like Flames Toys is at San Diego Comic Con as well. And uh, they're going to show off some of their new stuff. They got the model kits, the fewer model kits, which is uh, Soundwave and Ravage, which is a prototype. They got RC, a prototype. And they got Devastator as a color sample. And the Curicari Curie, which is the premium quality action figures. They got Rodimus, uh, Victory Saber. They got Nemesis Prime and Jazz, all in uh, prototypes and color samples. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So if you like uh, Flames Toys, uh, this is right up your alley. And they also show some Don Select Transformers Beast War statues and mini mates. So we got the uh, Premier Collection Beast War statues, Optimus Primal and Megatron, which look really, oh my goodness, once again, wow, these statues are really nice. And then you got the mini mates, which is Wave 3. They show Galvatron, Coronation Starscream, Galvatron, and Jazz. So yeah, so wait, Galvatron, two Galvatrons and a Starscream. Wow. Future products they include were Thundercracker, Ultra Magnus, Hot Rod, uh, Sleep Mode Optimus Prime, and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty cool. I got the uh, mini, I got the first wave uh, with Starscream and Soundwave, I think. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, statues and mini mates. And the last thing we're going to talk about is we got new in-hand images of Transformers Legacy Titan Class Cybertron Universe Metroplex. So yeah, I just showed you that, you know, he was found in stores. So yeah, now we're getting some in-hand images. And man, looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited for him. We can see in this bucket wheel ex extra excavator, um, excavator, golly, I couldn't say that word, excavator, uh, work mode, and as tall as robot mode as well. A simple but fun transformation with some new ideas like the uh, alternative head for the work mode. Uh, it's good to notice that both work mode and the main robot heads have light piping. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you like that. We also have comparison shots next to Legacy Minasaur and Masterpiece Shoki. They're, uh, you know, the uh, train bot. And uh, so it yeah, looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to get this in my collection. So there you go. in hand images of Legacy Titan Class Cybertron Universe Metroplex. That's a mouthful.
Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And, man, we got some great stuff coming out. San Diego Comic-Con has happened this weekend. We're hopefully get some more reveals. But, hey, I'm, I'm excited for that Skull Grin, that, uh, that Star Scream. Man, we're getting new Grimlocks from New Age. We got G2. We got the clear version. We got new stuff from Dr. Wu. We got the RC remolds and retools. They look really nice as well. Recolors, I meant. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of great stuff, man. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. And hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Is there anything in here you're excited for? You got to be. Come on now. If you are if you love Transformers, you got to be excited for something. What about those statues, man? Golly. So I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers, man. It's a great time to be a collector. And good night, folks. Love y'all like step cousins. Roll Tide.